SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in today's video, we look at a new plan from AT&T, and it's interesting. It's got these really, I don't know, complicated, I guess, dynamics. Not really complicated. I see what they're doing here, and it's actually just like another provider, what they do. So I want to show you guys what it is. So this is called AT&T Unlimited Level Up. All right, you can go to the website. You can check it out. I'll provide a link for that. It'll be in the description. And if you find this video helpful, please do rate this video. Give us that thumbs up and share it with others to let them know what's going on in the telco space. All right, so AT&T Unlimited Level Up. Here's what it says on the website. Sign up for the AT&T Unlimited Level Up plan. And after six months of on-time payment, they will allow you to move to a postpaid plan and give you the best deals on phones. Okay, so this is basically a, uh, you build equity with AT&T as a prepaid customer, make on-time payments to the tune of six consecutive months, and then you can be moved to a postpaid plan. All right, so here's some of the FAQs, right? Uh, it says here, uh, it's a new prepaid plan that uses your payment history to level up to a new phone on postpaid wireless with $0 down, regardless of your credit score. And I think for most people, right, they'll be looking to get a, an iPhone uh, with free financing, right, and putting $0 down. And we know how good at and is about promotions on iPhone deals. How do you qualify? Simple. Make six consecutive on-time payments while being on the at and Unlimited Level Up plan. Then they move you to an at and Wireless Postpaid plan, which could be like the, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that value plan that they have. Uh, that could be an option or any of the other ones too, right? Zero dollars down interest free financing on devices. All right, says uh, another FAQ. I made six consecutive payments. What's my next step? And that's the move over to the postpaid line. And then it says, what if I miss a payment? Well, basically, if you miss a payment, you're going to get a reset, right? So you're going to go from wherever you are when you miss the payment. Let's say you made three consecutive payments. You were late on your fourth. You go back to scratch. All right. It says, can I keep my plan and take advantage of the level of benefits? No, they need to move you to postpaid. That's going to be their process. And it says, if I like the price and the features of AT&T level up, why do I need to change to postpaid? It, it just explains that, you know, you have to make the move. And then they talk about different uh, discounts that they could offer you, you know, ARP, military teacher, all that stuff. And it says, can I change to another postpaid? It says, yes, you can change from unlimited level up to another prepaid option but you will no longer be able to use your history payment history towards getting the benefits and the move to postpaid and it says can i change to an at&t postpaid plan before i make six consecutive payments it says yes but you won't be able to use your level up history to qualify for the level up benefits and lastly this was probably something that people were worried about well i need to provide my ss number to have a credit check it says that they do run a soft credit inquiry, but it will not impact your credit. As long as you have the six payments on time, you should be good to go. You'll qualify for the benefits. And I want to show you guys something here. Here is the AT&T Unlimited Level Up plan. It is $60.99, which is not cheap for a prepaid plan. It's, it's typical of an unlimited plan. Uh, and actually where it makes more sense is to put it on auto pay you guys know at and does. They probably want you to put it on a checking account, right? They probably don't just want it on a credit card. So that might be a thing. You'll have to inquire about that. Uh, so $60.99, uh, if you put on auto pay $50.99, that makes it a little bit more uh, attractive for sure. All right. Now, you're probably thinking, why the hell? If I'm on prepaid, why do I want to move to postpaid? Well, it's the phone financing. The fact that you can get a free iPhone from at and You could go into the this this initiative right with an older phone make six payments consecutively so if you started today right you'd basically be what december until like may and then you can get a brand new iphone 16 pro from them or whatever 16 16 pro 16 plus and you know get it for free from them on their phone deals and postpaid right something that prepaid doesn't typically have now something i want to call out the prepaid to postpaid transition the, the you know wanting to move customers in this direction the reason they want to do that is because they can make more money on the customer typically the plans on postpaid are more expensive 
And the reason for that is phone subsidies, right? So they'll give you a phone deal, but they're going to lock you in for three years and the plan is going to be more expensive. Um, but if you get some discounts, it might be worth it to investigate. You might end up being at or around the same price as the AT&T Unlimited level up at like 60 bucks. If you choose one of the lower cost unlimited plans and then get a, an additional stackable discount or two, you know, through AT&T. So this could work. So the AT&T's network is good where you are and you want a good phone deal and you're trying to figure out a way to do it, this might be it. By the way, you would also be able to trade in devices too, right? So I don't know if you're looking to maybe get like a, a more expensive version of an iPhone, maybe a upgraded storage version of the 16 Pro Max or something. Like all those things are possible. The deals on prepaid for phones are not as good as postpaid and, uh, you know, it might be worth it for some, but they're definitely copying off of someone and they're copying off of both Verizon and Metro. Both Verizon and, and T-Mobile have processes in place to make the transition from prepaid to postpaid seamless for prepaid customers. T-Mobile's been very aggressively doing this with the Flex, right, trying to give people the postpaid-like experience. They were sending direct text messages to move people from prepaid to postpaid. And Verizon obviously has their total by Verizon. You make payments, uh, you know, have build equity. They give you $200 off a phone on the total brand. Like these techniques and strategies are not new and companies have been deploying them, elements of them. And I think AT&T, typically with prepaid, they're just very late to the party. But uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Good, indifferent, bad, you like it, considering it. I know there's a lot of factors with AT&T. But is it worth your considerations? You guys let me know. Sound off in the comment section below. Tell the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.